John Wolf here, Director of Fitness Education for the Onnit Academy, here to introduce our Werewolf Transformation Challenge. Now, what this challenge is all about is to commemorate the release of this awesome new Werewolf t-shirt. And if you've been following on it for the last couple months, you know that we also release this awesome Werewolf kettlebell, 28 kilos of fun. And this is gonna be the tool you use to complete the Werewolf Transformation Challenge. So what is the Werewolf Transformation Challenge all about? Well, it's about you building work capacity in a brief five minute work set, going through four different exercises. These four exercises are done in a flow sequence and your goal is to count how many times you can complete the flow sequence over the five minute span of time. As many rest breaks as you need to take is fine, but you have to complete each repetition in good form. So stay tuned and we'll go ahead and introduce all of the exercises. So the Werewolf Transformation Challenge consists of four exercises we stayed before. I'll go ahead and go through each individual exercise and then we'll seamlessly put them all together. So the first one is a frog sprawl. So we're gonna start by lining our toes up with the handle of the Werewolf kettlebell. As we squat down to parallel or below, I'm gonna reach my hands right behind the kettlebell and hop back behind the handle. And that's important because, hey, the handle on your forehead or the handle on your teeth should never meet, okay? So you wanna hop behind the, the kettlebell into a frog position. This is knees out, elbows in and back, and nice long neutral spine at a bit very, horizontal line on the spine, okay? So here, and we're just gonna hop all the way up into that squat again. As I stand, we're gonna go right into a dead snatch. So that means we want the kettlebell lined up between our heels, ideally, and then we're gonna reach down and back, grab the handle, load everything tight in your body, drive through your heels forcefully in one continuous motion, take the kettlebell overhead for the snatch, okay? The next step is gonna be a windmill. Keep the arm locked out straight, eyes up, hip out and back. Follow the inside of the opposite leg down. Stand up tall, come to a complete lockout. Now the fourth and final step is an overhead reverse lunge. So you're gonna step back with the same side leg that the kettlebell's in, drive back up, and I'll put the kettlebell back down for one rep. So your goal is to complete as many reps as you can in five minutes. 